Welcome to a West Compass iBeacon demonstration. Today we're going to be showing you an installation at the Four Seasons Denver. We will be highlighting three technologies here. First is the Place app, which is the app that we're going to be using. Place CMS, which is delivering the content. It's a beacon management system. And Place Beacons, which are the small beacons that are hidden about the hotel. In this case, as I walk around the Edge restaurant at the Four Seasons, as we encounter beacons, we're going to be detecting them based upon their proximity and delivering content to them th through the Place CMS. Now this content um, can be customized. It can be customized by language. It can be customized by gender. It can be customized by age. And so we can deliver content that's specific to the audience that is, is, is encountering the particular beacon. And we're going to go ahead and step to the next room here. or an encounter, our next painting, you'll see that the content will change. One of the things about this content, as it refreshes here, you'll notice that there is a URL link. We provide URL links that you can go to without leaving the app and then return, so if you do want to serve extra content, you can certainly use that method. Now as I continue the tour, the system is tracking me as a user, and this information can be used for traffic flow analysis, time spent at different places at different beacons, and also can be used for demographics and, and understanding who my audience is and what they're doing and when they're doing it and how long they're staying. It's very important business information. It's captured by the Place CMS, which is really our beacon management system. We'll end our brief tour of the restaurant here, and we're going to head upstairs for a second to highlight some more features. Now up on the second floor conference area of the Four Seasons Hotel, we're going to be highlighting a few other features of Place App, in particular playing audio while browsing, listening to content. And when we do this, the system will pause ranging and allow us to listen. So let's take a listen. My name is Will Clift, and you're looking at a sculpture of mine called Enclosing Form Three Verticals. This is one of a pair of sculptures on either side of the Grand Ballroom entrances. I also have 10 other works in the hotel, including one large one behind the front desk. Um, so this form is part of a series of works that I call the enclosing forms. My sculptures mostly focus on the theme of capturing a sense of gesture and motion. And while the sculpture behind the front desk is about an outward and upward energy, a reach. When I decide that I'm done and I pause the sound, I'll need to press the icon to start rearranging again and they'll find whatever beacon I'm closest to. and serve the content up for that beacon. So let's take a quick turn here and we're going to go over to another piece of artwork that has another piece of audio attached to it as well. I should also mention that Place App is localized in the 13 languages and Place CMS supports over 30 languages including support for audio. And as I approach this artwork the content will change. It's going to be loading up the uh, content for this next piece of art. And you'll see that this one also has audio attached to it. You can see that by the bottom of the screen. It says play audio. I can scroll through and read the content. I can go ahead and listen. I can control the volume, control the sound. I'll be able to browse while listening. And this also supports video as well as audio. Welcome to Talk It 10, your weekday interview program. I'm Kay Yolland, your host for this episode, and today I'll be talking with Argentinian artist Ana Maria Hernando, who has the exhibition The Illuminated Garden opening at the end of this week at Marfa Contemporary. The opening is on Friday the 7th, 5 to 7 p.m. and Anna will also be There's one last Place app feature that I'd like to cover as part of this tour, and this is uh, cover flow. Um, when we're walking about the hotel and we're encountering these beacons, we can get the history of all the places that we've been to in our cover flow. And this is uh, saved information, and if I clicked on any one of these pieces of art, I could return to it and uh, revisit the content. And this is something you can take with you as you uh, finish your tour and you decide that you want to go back to your hotel room. Please do contact us, westcompass.com. We hope to hear from you.
Check out our website, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you.